Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you use an IOLTA account to track funds in trust for use in paying client expenses, you should ensure that you create the necessary accounts within the QuickBooks Chart of Accounts window. Please review the lesson titled The Chart of Accounts in Chapter 3 if you need to reference creating and managing accounts. First, you should create a separate account called Client Trust Account or Client Trust Checking as a bank type account within QuickBooks to record all client trust fund transactions. This should be the account that is set up as an IOLTA account at your local bank. Second, create a new accounts payable type account named something like Client Trust AP or Client Trust Accounts Payable in order to track bills and payments for the client's trust account. You should also consider renaming the primary accounts payable account used by the law firm for its own bills to something like Operating AP or Law Firm Accounts Payable in order to distinguish it even further from the accounts payable account that is used for the client related accounts payable. Third, you should create an account named something like Client Trust Liabilities as an other current liability account type. You will use this account to track all client deposits and costs. Finally, and optionally, you can create a separate credit card account named something like Client Trust Credit Card as a credit card account type if you use a credit card to pay for client costs and you want the client's trust account to pay the credit card's bill. Note that some states may not allow the use of a credit card to pay for client expenses. If used, ensure that the credit card is only used for client expenses. For each of the accounts listed, except the client trust liabilities, you should also consider creating sub-accounts for each client and case or matter. For example, under the client trust account, you could create a sub-account named John Doe, trust account, for example. You could then create this sub-account under the client trust credit card and client trust accounts payable account. That way you can specify to which client and case or matter the individual transaction amount should be attributed. Alternatively, you can simply keep separate primary accounts for each client and case matter if preferred. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.